All right, another day, another challenge. Today we're gonna be doing one that I'm not excited about whatsoever. The reason why I'm not excited about it is because I'm gonna be battling the actual AI GM of LMB The Show. We all know that LMB The Show GM, the type of trade logic that would trade away a Ronald Acuna Jr. type player for three mediocre like double A type prospects. That's the type of GM that I'm gonna have to be facing in today's video. It's gonna get real dicey. So basically what's gonna happen is I'm gonna take a team. I have no idea what team I'm gonna go ahead and pick that at random. And then from there, I'm gonna treat it like a normal rebuild where I make trades, I sign free agents and try to get better. But the trade feature is on auto, so anything can happen with the trades. I think you guys understand now how much pain I'm gonna be in for these next two hours. So let's see what happens. If you guys are excited for the pain and suffering that I'm about to go on, then be sure to hit that like button. If you guys have not already hit that sub button, we're getting closer and closer to 50,000. And besides that, if you guys wanna connect with me and talk some baseball, then be sure to hit me up on Twitter and Instagram. Both those links are down below in the description. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get a team together. Let's see what type of team we're gonna be picking. And let's go ahead and get this challenge started. I'm excited for it, but also I know what's gonna happen. So I know there's gonna be some pain involved, but let's see if I can beat him. We're going for that World Series. Let's see if I can do it. All right, real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and look down and see what type of team that I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go ahead and count it down from 10. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we got the Rockies. Oh no, dude, come on. One of the worst teams in the MLB as of right now. This is gonna get insane. And please tell me I'll at least have a better GM than what the Rockies used to have. The GM that traded away Nolan Arenado for $50 million and a bunch of butt prospects. Let's see what the heck we got here. First off, I gotta go to user settings. Gotta go to mode specific and we gotta go down to trades and make this auto. Oh no. Would you like to apply changes? Yes, I would. I don't want to, but I would like to apply changes. Also, I think for this, I'm gonna go ahead and turn up the trade frequency. Normally, I keep it a little bit lower than half. This time, I'm doubling this thing. Let's go. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing started. I'm not gonna be making any trades until the trade deadline. From there, though, it's free range, and I'm gonna go ahead and make this team better. I just have to hope that the gym that we have does not make any stupid bonehead trades, and so far, he has not made a single trade. As I say that, we lose McMahon. Oh my God, I should have kept my mouth shut, dude. I should have kept my mouth shut. We lost McMahon. I hate this game. Austin Hedges, by the way. Just breathe, just breathe, and let's calm down. Let's go ahead and keep this thing going into June. But for real, we lost one of the best players IRL on the Rockies, and that's not good for the future, just saying. And we also get rid of Garrett Hampson. Why are we rebuilding? Why? For Nick Decker and Brett Netzer. This really ain't good, boys. This is so incredibly horrible. It's hard enough trying to rebuild the Rockies. Now I gotta fight this stupid dude. Don't tell me we got rid of Tapia. Did we actually just get rid of Tapia? I was moving way too quick. I can't do that for this video, but oh my God, did we actually get rid of him? Don't tell me we actually did it and we got Brad Keller for Tapia. Tapia is such a glitch in this game. I can't believe we did that. Brad Keller is not horrible. I've seen some pretty good things with Brad Keller, but bro, we can't be doing that. Are you kidding me? All right, let's go ahead and get the trade online. Holy crap. I'll let you guys know if any trades go down, but just now we'll see what happens. Okay, that's more of a prospect trade. That one's not that big of a deal. I can take that. We got more depth. I guess that's okay. Also, the Phillies get a Rosarena. Also, the Indians get loud. Why are the Rays selling right now? What are they doing? Doing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, we can't be doing this right now. I can't trade away Marquez. My best pitcher by far for Anthony Volpe and Brandon. He doesn't need to go to the Yankees either. The Yankees are way too goaded. Well, that actually just happened. I can't believe that. Okay. We got to keep going and we lose out on John Gray too. We're losing all our pitching. We can't be having that. All right, let's see if I can save this team from whatever idiot is running it right now. We literally got worse pitching. I don't know how the heck that happened, but we got worse pitching. All right, trade talks. Let's get it going. Here we go, baby. The first guy that I got to go for is going to be an underrated glitch. We're going for John Means. The guy threw a no-hitter in real life. Yes, I know that I did that because I just literally did it, game. Okay, either way. We got John Means in the team, and please don't get rid of him. Please, God. Next up, closer, because we have a 66 overall closer. Let's go ahead and try to get somebody else in there. Honestly, I'm thinking Rosselli Glacius. That could be good. Go ahead and try to get him. There we go. We got him. Perfect. I also have to try to get Tapia back. Where the heck is he? I forgot which team he went to. There we go. Okay, there he is. Let's go and get Tapia back from the Royals. Let's see if we can possibly bring anybody else over here. Okay, it's not looking like it. Maybe Alberto? Ooh, I think we gotta get Alberto over here. Let's go, there we are, perfect. I actually like that quite a bit. And now we gotta go for some more pitching because again, we're not gonna win anything with this pitching staff. And there we go, we're getting Chris Bassett. Again, please don't get rid of him. Let's see what happens. That's really all I can do for this here. We really don't have much depth. I'm not gonna go too crazy. I'm doing my best to play this like a normal rebuild. And this is what I would do in a normal rebuild. So real quick, let's also try to get Trevor Story on a long-term contract, there we go. And I think that's gonna be about it for right now. Okay, actually wait, one more thing. We're getting Michael Pineda. Pineda's on fire this year, not to mention I think I can get him for pretty much 
much nobody. So let's see, Brian Gonzalez. Yeah, there we go. Now all I gotta do is get rid of one of these guys like Willie Abreu and then one more dude, maybe like Allen. And there we are, perfect. I just got Michael Pineda who's doing amazing for three D potentials. There we are. All right, now that's gonna be it. We're gonna go ahead and keep it going and I'll see you guys in September. And this year to end off the season, we finish off 73 and 89. A lot worse than I even thought. I'd say that probably has to do with the amount of people that we traded away for no reason this year. But either way, let's go ahead and try to stack this entire team up to the free agency. Let's see what type of guys we can get. First off, I'm getting, Pin never mind. I'm not getting Pineda back. That dude actually wants $10 million a year. That's crazy. I'll get Roselli Glacius back. That works out a lot better. I'll get CJ Chrome back because he got hit 30 bombs. I'll also get Givens back. Screw it. But besides that, I think everybody else can walk and that should be okay. Oh, wow. The White Sox actually got Altuve too. Yeah, when we turn up the trades, it turns up for everybody. So there's going to be some crazy things going on. As Whip Merrifield goes to the Reds too. Okay. Let's just go ahead and get some free agents going. Come on. Let's do it. We got roughly about like, I'd say $80 million to spend, which is a gigantic amount, especially for hitters and cores. So I'm going to try my best to go for some of the best. Like first off, I'm going for Anthony Rizzo and I'm also going to try to bring Chris Bryant on this team too. Because look how disgustingly cheap this guy is. Why like you so cheap, bro? $7 million. Get over here. I'm also going to try to get CT3 from the Dodgers. He's actually going to be the most expensive out of all of them, which is kind of funny, but the guy can play everywhere. Not to mention he does very, very solid. And then besides that, the rest of this money is getting poured into pitching. So first off, Eduardo Rodriguez, get over here. Next up, Lance Lynn, get over here. And I think I got to go for one more like smaller guy. Maybe Chris Archer. That would not be bad. But then again, Chris Archer doesn't really do all that great outside the trap. I've already experimented with that a whole bunch. He really just doesn't work. So with that in mind, I think we just go ahead and get Kirby Yates and maybe one other guy over here. Maybe someone like Chafin. Never mind, an 8.3. Oh my God. Chaz Rowe. There we go. Chaz Rowe. Let's bring him back. All right. All the guys we're going for this year is Chris Bryant, Roberto Osuna, Anthony Rizzo, Eduardo Rodriguez, CT3, and Chaz Rowe. Let's see if we get everybody that we're looking for. First off, we got Chris Bryant. That's huge for 7 million a year too, which is absolutely ridiculous. Kirby Yates, no longer interested. The Braves get Kershaw. Okay. Lance Lynn goes back to the White Sox. God dang it. That actually hurts quite a bit. What if we use that money and just straight up go for Syndergaard instead? Because they're roughly about the same price. Four years, $81 million. There's no freaking way we get them, but if if we do, I will laugh so hard. Let's see if we get him. Kirby Yates goes to the Astros. Carlos Correa. Oh my God. Going to the Blue Jays. They really don't need him up there. What the heck are they doing? We get Osuna. Conforto goes to the A's. Let's see if we get the final two as Roberto Perez goes to the Reds. Buster Posey as well going to the Mets. And let me take a look at it. Yeah, Noah Syndergaard is no longer interested. Okay, I think that's fine because our money would not have taken that. That's fine. Let's see if we get Chris Taylor as Corey Seager goes to the Marlins. If we can get Chris Taylor though, I will feel so much better about this entire thing. Actually, wait a minute. We have no more pending offers. Did we already get him? We might have already gotten him. Yeah, there we go. We got him. Perfect. Okay, we stacked up this team. I just hope and pray that the GM does not get rid of them. Let's see what happens. So I'll see you guys in 2022 and let's go ahead and get to this trade outline. As Kenta Maida goes to the Astros for Jose and Kyle Tucker. All right, so far through May, we're looking okay as Giolito goes to the Giants for Joey Barton, Jake McGee. And Mondesi goes to the Reds as well. Holy crap. Well, welcome back, guys. We're in 2022, and no surprise, a lot of stuff's going down. Nick Anderson going to the Angels. Oh, wait a minute. We just got Nick Solak. Let's go. But I will say right now with this team, we're performing a lot better than I thought as we just get rid of Anthony Rizzo, because why not? You know, Tim Hill and Patrick for Anthony Rizzo. Why, dude? Why the heck are we doing this? He's one of the key pieces of this entire team. Not to mention, we just traded away CJ Crone as well. So we have what? No first baseman, pretty much? What the heck are we doing? This is such a problem as we trade John Means away for Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber and Coors, I gotta admit, will be pretty fire. But for John Means, again, why? It couldn't have been for any prospects or anything like that. It had to be for one of the aces of the team, John Means. But my God, holy crap. Let's take a look at the lineup. Let's see if we need any help anywhere. And we definitely do over there in left field. Okay, got you. Let's get these guys some help and hopefully won't get ruined. And the guy that we're going to go for over here in Coors is going to be Andrew Benatendi. I feel like Benny over here in Coors would be fantastic. He had a pretty decent 2021 with the Royals and has been on a tear in 2022. Let's even continue that with us. All right, I think now we got to go for some pitching help. It just has to be done. And one of my favorite teams to get pitching help from is actually the Brewers. Getting someone like Josh Hader over here as well as like Brent Suter would be beautiful. Two lefty arms, fantastic lefty arms. Both of them complete glitches, by the way. That should make the team infinitely better right there. And I think the last guy we're going to go for this here is actually going to be another starting pitcher. If I can actually snag someone that I think is going to be fantastic, I'm a thousand percent going to do it. Okay, someone like Tyler Glass now. Yeah, there we go. 100% give me Glass now. There we are. All right, after all those trades, we're 14th in the MLB. We're still going to be behind the Dodgers, of course, but I got to check the standings. How the heck is this wild card looking? Let's see. Oh, we're at the top, baby. Not by much. Of course, it's not going to be by much, but we got the Padres and the Phillies right behind us. But right now we're at the top. Let's see if we can continue this. All right, let's go ahead and get to the second half of the season and let's see how we finish off. All right, late September, we got over 80 wins. We're looking pretty 
solid and we don't make it in. Oh my God. How far back were we? We were eight games from the division. Also, the Padres overtook the Dodgers. Let's go. But what about this wild card? Let's take a look. Six games. Wow. Yeah, I keep forgetting. The NL is stacked. We still finish off pretty good for the Rockies in year two. But I still think if we had the people like Anthony Rizzo and John Means, we would have done a lot better. Also, why is Nick Solak a 90? I've not looked one bit at the rosters. I'm not going to lie. I pretty much have just been getting people and then reacting to other trades. I've not looked at the actual rosters. Why the heck is Nick a 90? He really isn't even doing all that great to be a 90. Is his war insane? No, a 0 0.4. What the heck is going on? I have absolutely no clue. Chris Bryant finished off okay. Glass now, amazing. Josh Hader as well. Very, very good. Eduardo, look at that, baby. CT3, not horrible. Everybody did relatively okay. Let's go and check who wins this World Series. Who's it going to be? The Yankees actually beat the Nationals. Wow. All right, offseason time now. Let's go ahead and keep building. All right, here we go. Free agency, and we got some beasts here. We got Aaron Judge. Imagine Judge in Coors Field. Oh, my God. And Chuck Nasty's getting older. Okay, do we go for Judge or do we go for Joey Gallo? Because I guarantee you they're going to be the exact same amount. Joey Gallo, never mind, only wants 15. Yeah, he has not been doing good. All right, we go with Judge. Let's see if we can get Judge on the back of the contract. And I think besides that, we go for one more guy, and that's going to be Chad Green. Again, we already laid the groundwork. We really don't need all that much. Now all it is is just actually competing and winning. That's really about it. So let's see what happens here. We're going for Judge, Bassett, Chad Green, and Trey Mancini. Let's hope that we can get at least somebody here. Chad Green no longer interested. That sucks. And Aaron Judge going to the Angels. And yo, I was looking for a new guy. And tell Marte actually had a fantastic season last year. A 330 pretty much with 34 home runs and 100 RBIs with 42 doubles. I mean, yes, please. What the heck? Get over in Coors, dude. You do amazing. All right, let's see if we can at least get Cattell Marte. Come on. There we go. We got him. Perfect. And we actually lose Chris Bassett. He goes to the Phillies for $14.5 million in one year. I gotta admit, that was way more than I was offering him, so good luck to him. But that's actually quite a big loss for us. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's go ahead and get to 2023 as Taylor Rogers goes to the D-backs. That's not good. But let's go ahead and get there and see how we do as we get Christian Vasquez. I don't hate that. Not going to lie. I don't hate that. They finally hit a diamond after all those misses. My God. Either way, 2023, we're here. Let's go ahead and keep this thing going as we get rid of Osuna for Andrew Chafe. Does this make any sense whatsoever? I get that Osuna was not doing good. I get that. First off, five innings. You got to give the guy a little bit more. But a one for one and Andrew Chavin's coming over here. How did the trade system get worse? How did they do this? Like, I thought it was bad last year, but how the heck did they make this thing worse? Let's keep it going as we get rid of Brandon Rogers or Pedro Severino. Does that even make sense? The answer is no. Look how bad we're doing too. Oh my God. Let's keep going, but holy crap. I knew that the GM would be screwing us over as we get rid of Brad Keller for Jemai Jones. Again, why? That's the one question I asked. Oh my God. Austin Gomber, who, by the way, was posting up a 2.8 year rate this year for Eric Swanson and Franchi. Franchi's cheeks. I got to be real. Franchi's garbage. And for some reason, we get him. We also got Lorenzo Kane. We legit punted our chances at the postseason away right here. We just did it right there and then. You guys watched it. We punted our postseason chances away. And this one's even worse. How did it get worse? Aaron Sanchez for Josh, Scott, and Chuck Nasty. It's getting so bad. We're not going for anybody big either. We're just going for like these small trades that only make us worse. It's really crazy. The trade line, thank God. The horror has finally stopped. Is there any way that I can fix this? Let's see. We went from having a top 10 rotation to now 21st overall. Oh my God, nobody here is the same. Where's Glass now? Legit, where the heck is Glass now? I'll tell you guys one thing. It definitely didn't tell me that we got rid of him because I would have shown you guys. He's not injured because he'd still technically be on the team. Where the heck did Glass now go? I gotta see. And there it is. It literally didn't tell us. Do we trade away Glass now to the White Sox? But we also trade away Nick Solak, who was a 90 overall for Joe Gray and Ethan Small. All right, let's go ahead and try to fix it. They keep trading away my pitching. I gotta keep getting it back. Let's do it. At this point, just don't touch my pitching. I'd appreciate it because it's actually getting insane. We're gonna go ahead and go with Lance McCullers. Let's go ahead and get him over here. There we are. And I think we got to go ahead and get rid of a couple more guys here. And I'm going for a beast this time that I pretty much can't trade away. And there we go. We're going for the big boy. Like I said, Mike Soroka. That's the dude we're going for. We're going for some dude that it would be impossible for them to trade. That's the only way that I could see this thing working. And there we go. We got him. The fact that I could even get him for the players that I actually got him for makes me nervous that we're actually not going to be able to keep him for that long. Uh oh, that didn't click with me up until like two seconds ago. That is concerning. Okay, let's try to go for one more guy over here. Actually, a second baseman first off. I can't believe we got rid of a second baseman for pretty much no reason. Get Jeff McNeil over here. Thank you. And that's pretty much about it. Now let's see if we can make this postseason push and still not suck. Let's try to bring it back a little bit. We got two new great pieces. Not to mention Jeff McNeil in the batting order, which is three. So let's see what happens in September. We're not looking great so far. And this year, after almost making it into the postseason, and normally when you'd go like win now mode, we end up reverting back to rebuild mode and we go 76 and 86 because this game makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna try it one more time. Let's go ahead and load up again as the Twins beat the Nats in the 2023 World Series. 
Let's go ahead and load up once again on some incredibly good guys for the free agency. And let's hope that we can actually make this push and just make it to the postseason. That's all I want now. I've just seen how insane this thing is. I just want to make it to the postseason one time. All right, here we go. Free agency once again. We got some studs here and we only have $20 million. Oh my God. Look how many people are here. DeGrom, Chapman, Bellinger, Flaherty, Luis Castillo, Urias, Grandal, Lucas Giolito, Rafael Devers, Glass, now Shohei Otani, Dylan Lamette, Kent Maeda, Matt Olson, Harrison Bader. Am I tripping? What is going on here? Why is everybody not getting a contract? This is actually the most insane free agency I've ever seen right here. Well, if we're going to go for anybody, I got to go for some budget beasts over here. And I think the way to do that right now is first off, let's go ahead and get rid of any stupid contracts. So people like Andrew, who's 9.1 million for absolutely nothing. Go ahead and get rid of him. People like Austin Hedges, who by the way, did horrible last year. Go ahead and get rid of him. People like Aaron Sanchez, who really aren't going to stick around that long. Go ahead and get rid of him. And let's free up a boatload of money real quick. There we go. And we can get Mackenzie Gore. This game is making me go crazy, dude. I'm taking Mackenzie Gore. I mean, come on, I'm going to do it. But my God, that should never happen. All right, we freed up about $25 million. That's pretty much just one contract to be 100% real, but I'm going to try to make it into two. Let's see if I can get Glass now back first off. And he wants 17. Okay, I think the best bet actually, like I said earlier, is just waiting to see what type of guys fall through. There's not going to be enough teams to actually pay all these guys. So I'm going to see what type of guys I can get towards late December and see what type of guys actually just pretty much fall on my lap. Let's see. That is never mind. That's a little sus. Either way, probably not the best expression for this, especially talking about dudes. But either way, let's see if we can get some stars to fall into the Rockies basket. I don't know. It's honestly chalk. Let's just move on. I'll see you guys in late December. All right, it's about December 10th right now and nobody is here. Where did, what, huh? How? Where the heck did everybody get this money from? What is going on? I guess I'll get Darvish, but that's it. Wow, this is actually insane. I didn't think it'd be this nuts. Like, I really don't want it to be this nuts, but I can't believe it's going this crazy. All right, well, screw it. 2024, let's go ahead and start the season. We are 12th overall in the MLB. Technically, we should barely squeak out the wild card. If that's how this is going to go, we should barely squeak out the wild card. Let's see what happens. Again, I'll talk to you guys whenever some crazy trades get made so let's go ahead and see what happens and of course the first one's gonna be with us we get rid of lance mccullers and getting him back over to the red sox actually for andrew heaney and mike zanino <sighs> okay yeah that's fine just one of our best pitchers and again we're back to rebuilding for no reason guys we were actually so close to the postseason in the second year of this thing and the computer just kept trading away my pieces they just didn't stop as the nets get jose barrios for a bunch of 70 overalls that's insane brian anderson going to the yankees brendan mckay goes to the braves for two guys that should never even get close to brendan mckay level. Okay. The Mets get Brandon Rogers, who by the way, turned out to be a stud. Who would have thought? But I guess the computer just wants to get rid of him for whatever reason. The Padres get Dominic Smith. That's actually very, very good for them. Jordan Luplo's at 86 overall and he goes to the Giants. He has money. Grandel changing teams to the Cardinals. Are we going to do anything else but get worse? Is that like it? Is that it for trading? I guess that's going to be it. Okay. I got to try my best to go for some absolute studs now. Let's do it. I'm down for the challenge. I just can't believe this is actually a thing. First off for Nick Decker and Anthony Volpe, we're going for Austin Meadows. He's going to be a beautiful dude out there in right field. Dude's gonna hit a lot of bombs, so I'm ready for that. Next up, we're going for that first baseman that we need so desperately. We had a great one, but for some reason, the game got rid of him. Let's go with Luke Voigt. Never mind, we can't afford him. Let's go with Anthony Rizzo. Can we get him back? We definitely can't. I guess we could go for Jared Walsh, so there we go. We got him. He's a 92 overall, and by the way, he's been hitting some bombs out there in LA. All right, now the only thing that I really can do now is getting one more incredibly good guy for the starting rotation, and after that, there's nothing else I can do for this team. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go for Zach Gallon. He's been consistent. He's been a god. We're going for him, and there we go. We got him. Now, this is looking a lot better than what it did before. We finally got a top 10 pitch rotation. We got the second best first baseman. We got a very good outfield. And we finally are at peace because we cannot have any of these guys get traded anymore. We're past the trade line. Let's go ahead and hammer this entire thing home. Let's try to make it to the postseason right here, right now. I will see you guys in September. Let's get it going. And just like that, after getting some crazy good guys back, but trading away way too many people, we finish off 81 and 81. That's so incredibly frustrating because almost every single year, we were so close. So freaking close if we just kept building. But the computer just kept reverting, going back, and ruining the entire thing. Either way, that's going to be it. Let's check the GM goals. Job security low. I don't blame them. But can we please get rid of the AI first? I promise you I'll build you a great team if you get rid of the AI first. All right, now I think we can see how incredibly bad this AI actually functions in the show 21. It's gotten past ridiculous, and I didn't even think that it'd get worse as we go to next gen. That's crazy. But I'm going to be trying my best next year to fix this for everybody. I'm definitely not alone with this. I got a lot of good guys with me. But this entire thing is nuts. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys had a laugh with how bad this thing actually worked out. But I'll see you guys later with another video very, very soon. If you guys have not already, hit that post notification bell so you guys will not miss that one. And besides that, I'll see you guys later. Stay safe, have a great rest of your day, and peace out.